I spend a lot of time cooking um, when I'm not in the restaurant. I make a lot of bread myself. That is my absolute favourite. Every time he asks me what to cook for me, I'm like, will you bake me a loaf of bread? If I had something to help me with this, then life would be a lot easier. Yeah. The problem with the bread maker that I had before, it is a little bit limited in the options that it had available. I would love to be able to find a machine that can do things to the level that I want them to do. Now, you have tried bread makers before. Why haven't you got on with them? I've just found that they've had some limitations. They could only do one or two types of bread. But this was like 20 years ago. So, you know, it's interesting to see how the technology has come along since then. So we went with this Panasonic bread maker because it's got 31 programs and also manual settings. So you can have full creative control over your loaf. It will make not just bread, but it will also do brioche, pizza dough, cakes, and jam. So we sent this to you to live with for a week, give it a full testing and record yourselves doing so. Let's see how you got on. What was the first thing that you thought? Uh, I thought it's quite big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this going to go on my surface? Can you lift that out? You're supposed to be the strong one. <laughs> <laughs> it does actually look quite sleek. It's like a nice design. It's, you know, black and silver and... The colours match the kitchen. Yeah, it matches the kitchen and everything. It just does take up quite a lot of space. I guess with this new bread maker, um, there was a lot more features available to ones that I've seen before. Oh, so you have a different recipe for, like, a brioche, a sourdough. French bread. <laughs> Who knew it was all different? You make jam, obviously make cake batter, just make the doughs. You don't even have to go through the full process of, like, cooking the bread yeah. and baking the bread itself. Right, should we give it a little go? Why not? A seeded loaf was something I actually made as a little surprise for Brad to wake up to his breakfast on his day off. Okay, so the yeast is in there. There's an auto dispenser feature which is used when you've got, you know, like fruits or nuts or seeds. The seeds go into this dispenser, so you just basically tipped everything in. You didn't really need to mix anything manually first. It literally took under five minutes to weigh out the stuff and pop it in and press a button. Now I just need to find the right program. I use the timer function on it. You can set it up to 13 hours in advance. So I did it, yeah, about half seven, eight o'clock at night before Brad got home from work. And then it was ready for about 8.30 in the morning. And then when I came down in the morning, the kitchen smell of bread. That looks like a damn good loaf to me. Yeah. So I made pizza dough, which again was super easy. There we go. Close the lid. Let's find out what number pizza is. 24. Find the right program. It's going to take 45 minutes. And then it did all the mixing and the kneading for me. And that sound is everything getting stirred up. So I'm just going to leave it to do its thing. I think the pizza dough, yeah, we were both quite impressed. Nice and stretchy. Amazing. So when we took the pizza out of the oven, it actually looked delicious. It tasted great, the texture was great, the consistency was great. Well, I'd almost definitely use that pizza dough function again. I thought what I can do is combine two of the different options that the bread maker offers, which is make a jam and then make a sponge cake and then basically make a Victoria sponge. But we actually didn't bake it in the bread maker because the shape of the tin isn't really very nice for a cake. Now we press play. When we went to turn the batter out, there was like a still a little bit of flour left that hadn't mixed fully in. So we had to do a bit of manual mixing before we put it into the cake tin. Get that in the oven, please, B. Excellent. Hey, the bread machine has its own jam function. Just has one stage, which is heat and mixing. Just press the jam button. Yeah. And then that's it. So the cake has come out the oven. What's your verdict on the cake? Looks all right. It's a little flatter than I thought it was going to be. I expected it to be a bit more risen. It did make a good jam. The, the consistency for me was a bit too solid. And here is the finished product. How is it? I wasn't that impressed with how the cake turned out, in all honesty. You better tell them it's good. Not a problem with the machine itself. The recipe that they've gone for is the most basic recipe, I guess. This bread machine really helped us save time 
and help me contribute a little bit more. Yes. Yes. So I think overall, we were happy with the bread machine. Thumbs up with the bread machine. Nice, and you brought a loaf along for us to try. Yeah, you should have. Let's have a try. Thank you. You want a slice? Butter. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think maybe more the half. Oh right, slice. right, yes, yeah. right. It's really good, really good. And very, like, clever that you can do it so you have fresh bread literally as you wake up. It sounds like you both really got on well with it, but, of course, there is the price. Mm -hmm. So how much bread for your bread, yeah? How much dough for your dough? All right, yeah, we've got... <laughs> how, much, how much is it yeah. actually going to cost? I'm going to say £180. OK. Mm, I would have said about 200 quid, mm -hmm. something like that. OK. Well, the cost is £160. OK. Ah, OK. So a little bit cheaper than what you guys predicted. Mm, yeah. Well, based on your week with the Panasonic bread maker, would you buy it? I think we actually would. It's the kind of thing that I'd get you for Christmas or something like that. Yeah. Um, but don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs>